Hey, how's it going? Uh, all right. The Nintendo Switch has been a game changer in the world of gaming, captivating millions with its unique hybrid design and incredible library of games. But what's next for Nintendo? Today, I want to dive into what we know about the highly anticipated Nintendo Switch 2, what we can theorize with great confidence it will have, and my personal wants and desires of the future console. So here's what we do know. We won't be getting a new Switch console until after March 31st, 2024. President of Nintendo, Shuntaru Furukawa, confirmed this himself in an investors meeting last year. The article originally comes from Bloomberg, but I didn't want to pay the stupid $1.99 for access. Hate paywalls. Thankfully, IGN has summarized what he said. To paraphrase, he said, Nintendo isn't considering new hardware in the 2023 slash 2024 financial year. Being that their financial year ends in March 31st of this year, it is safe to say it won't be releasing next month. It would have been cool and coincided perfectly with the March 2017 launch of the Switch 1, but considering they haven't launched any commercials or said anything about it in general, I figured it wouldn't launch early this year. Though, it could still be revealed next month or this month in a potential Nintendo Direct, if history is to be repeated. Another thing we can say with great certainty, though it hasn't been outright confirmed, is that Nintendo will use a more powerful Nvidia chip. It's no secret that Nintendo and Nvidia have collaborated before, since the Switch 1 has a custom Tegra X1 processor. Partnering again would be no surprise to any fans, and according to a Reuters report, Reuters? Routers, routers, I don't know, I don't know how you say that, it's, it's a weird website name. According to a Routers report from two days ago, the new Switch is expected to have another NVIDIA custom design chip. Some speculate that the new chip will contain a, T30, a T239 model, which is built off the Ampere architecture, the same architecture as their 3000 series desktop gaming GPUs. Say what you will about NVIDIA, but they are always at the forefront of creating graphical processors. And I mean, their high-end products can't be beat, even by AMD. Even the top-of-the-line uh, AMD GPU, it's, it's not going to compete with the top-of-the-line NVIDIA GPU. I know that doesn't mean much for Switch, but at the end of the day, it's, it's, I have a great confidence in them. If we compare it, actually, to the Asus Rogue Ally, which I believe has an AMD One chip. Actually, AMD in general pretty, makes pretty good mobile chips, I will say that. Their APUs have been phenomenal. Um, and I have their Asus Rogue Ally, and honestly, like, it's, it's, it's a very powerful system, um, at least, for, you know, for what it is. The only downside to it is that you have to be connected to the, to the wall, but, I mean, it's, it's kind of a give and get. Hopefully, with the next Switch, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll have something that's as powerful, but can last anywhere from two to three hours. If we get that sort of performance, we ain't good. Anyways, moving on to the next topic, the screen. Unfortunately, it seems like we're going back to the old LCD screen that the base Switch 1 came with, which is kind of a shame because it just looks like a toy at that point. Um, personally, I have the OLED model and, and the colors and, and the screen on, on the portable side of things. Oh my god, it's just chef's kiss. It is so good. I mean, comparing that to the first, the first model, there is no comparison. Aside from the OLED screen being taken away, one caveat is that it is an 8 inch screen over a 7 inch screen, which I think is is might make up for it, but at the end of the, at the same time it's kinda like we're not gonna have the same the same visual. I, I honestly I would rather a six inch screen at that point to just to get the OLED, if you know what I mean. Like it I mean obviously there's not a trade off, but if if we're being serious, I think the OLED is just it's just great. But going back to the base model screen is just gonna be hard. And again, I got this from Gizmodo and I know it's not the best source, but honestly, if you're, if you're anything like me, you're out there itching for anything new, so. <laughs> Hopefully, when they do announce the OLED model, it's it's a year from now or two years from now, not four years, you know, from when the, because the original Switch launched and it was four years until we got the OLED model, so. Now let's talk gold doubloons. How far back will we have to push our retirement to enjoy Mario Odyssey 2 in that sweet, sweet next generation graphical glory? As it turns out, probably not much, as the predicted price point is somewhere around $400. Again, not the best as of source, but at this point, at this point in the video, we're kind of treading muddier waters anyways when it comes to uh, this sort of information because nothing official has been said. But at this point, there's going to be lots of he said, she said type of sources. I mean, not the most concrete, but I, I also don't think a $400 price tag is is, is that out of the, the ordinary at this point. Or, you know, that that out, that far out there, especially in the current landscape of, of gaming and prices and whatnot. I mean, you have like certain games going up to 70 bucks. Um, the PS5 in, in and of itself is 500 bucks. So is the, the, the Xbox Series X or whatever. Actually, the PS5 discless version is around 400 bucks. Honestly, I personally had the, the discless version of the PS4 because I wasn't even gonna get the, the disc anyway. At this point, it's just kind of like, 
if you're not going digital, what are you doing? Like, let's be honest. Like, it, even if you get this at this point, it's just, you, you're going to have to transfer all the files. It's, it's just the whole thing. Um, and at this point also, I believe they've said something about backwards compatibility. Um, again, I'll put the sources in the video um, from where I read that and in the description if you want to go you know, read that. Honestly, at this point, I'm, I'm glad they're finally doing this because I don't want to suffer through that awkward phase of, of them re-releasing everything again and I have to buy everything. I'm assuming that your online profile is going to transfer for a Nintendo Switch 1 to Nintendo Switch 2. Because you know how much they love drip feeding us content, especially when it comes to uh, virtual console titles and, you know, older games that at this point, some, some of us have bought like two to three times. Not me though. No, I'm just kidding. I have. Okay, so at this point in the video, it's going to be mainly speculation and I will have no sources. So I kind of just wanted to talk about things that I think seem logical for them that I haven't already discussed. If these have been rumored or discussed somewhere, then I'm not aware of it, but hear me out. I hope and think that the Nintendo Switch 2 will have a better online platform than the Nintendo Switch 1. Same, in, same Nintendo Switch Online, same NSO, but better underlying netcode and support. Listen, we all know that 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 NSO in general just isn't the best, you know, if you're playing Smash, <laughs> you're gonna lag out a lot of the time. Any online versus game just isn't gonna be good. I feel like they're cooking something up. They have to be. After all the complaints, come on Nintendo. I mean, I've seen some wacky stuff in my Smash matches and I just, at this point, I think it's, it's a criticism that they've heard. Maybe not, because sometimes it kind of feels like they're living their rock. I don't know, but we'll see. Hopefully though, you know, with the with, with the advent of a new console, they, they start taking it a little bit more serious, especially if they're going to charge what they're going to charge. And who knows, maybe they might come out with a updated version of Nintendo Switch Online. Let's label it Nintendo Switch Online U, because that's what they like to do, right? Another thing I hope they include at this time is GameCube games on the Nintendo Switch Online, just how they did with Nintendo 64. I mean, we all know everyone's been asking for GameCube games. They've done a couple of GameCube remasters on the Nintendo Switch. I mean, we have Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, which in and of itself is a GameCube remaster of one of the greatest games of all time. Shout out to my Rugport map again. And at the same time, you know, we have Metro Prime 1 remaster, and then there was the rumors of Metro Prime 2 remaster. I just hope that it's not just going to be them remastering, you know, different games. Oh, obviously, I also forgot um, uh, the Mario Collection and the Mario Sunshine in there, but that one was such a travesty because they could have done so much with it. Don't even get me started. But anyways, yeah, something like they have uh, uh, currently for Nintendo 64 would be pretty cool. Again, maybe they might charge more for GameCube games. Um, I'm hoping I'm not. I'm hoping they don't charge more than what they currently charge for their premium. But you know, businesses will business, and Nintendo's not ashamed to price gouge their customers. <laughs> and then lastly, it will be called Nintendo Switch 2. And hear me out on this because I hope to I hope to God for everything that is holy. I hope they don't name it the Nintendo Switch U, the Super Nintendo Switch, or whatever. Just name it Nintendo Switch 2, and that's it. <laughs> don't make it complicated. There was the PlayStation, PlayStation 2. It didn't go from PlayStation to Mega PlayStation. It went from PlayStation to PlayStation 2, and then PlayStation 2 sold really well. So hopefully Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch 2, at some point we're at a, we're at a, at, at a place where we can just not do that and just go from logical you know nintendo switch 1 to nintendo switch 2 please nintendo i'm begging you so there we have it folks my predictions and speculations for the nintendo switch 2 i mean the hype around the, the nintendo switch 2 is definitely at an all-time high um and i think it's safe to say that we're all itching to get our hands on it um you know stay stay tuned for more updates as i will be making more fun little discussion and speculation videos like subscribe and all that i mean really do whatever you want don't forget to do this Do whatever you want, man. It's, it's, it's your life. See you next time.